Hey everyone, my name is Jeet Shroff. I'm the Gameplay Engineering Lead at Sony Santa Monica. Hi, I'm Mihir Sheth, and I'm a Combat Designer at Sony Santa Monica. <laughs> that dumb hammer doesn't scare me. Boom! Oh no! Boy! Stop! Boy! <laughs> Your mother's knife. It belongs to you now. So this is God of War Reimagined. What we've done is we've taken a look at the gameplay, the camera, and the characters, uh, and we've reimagined re it in a way to kind of bring it up to the modern era. She taught you to hunt, yes? Yes, sir. Then show me what you know. I am hungry. Kratos is now a lot older. Um, he's been struggling with his past, and so he's left the era of, of Greece, and uh, the stage is now set up in uh, Norse mythology. Your hunt, you tell me. South? Is that a question? South. In the title, uh, Kratos is joined up with his son, and the, the game itself is really a, a journey of adventure as Kratos and the son sort of explore the Norse landscape. So the, the camera is significantly different. The camera has been brought in a lot more closer and is now a user control camera. What this allows us to do is, um, you know, it gives us more avenues for uh, an intimate and more personalized storytelling. Uh, and it also empowers the player to kind of let them play the way they'd like to do it, uh, as well as sort of witness the story, the combat, and the development of these characters uh, firsthand. One of the areas we really wanted to explore was the idea of the game uh, of the game's story unfolding around the player at all times uh, within the game world itself. And you know, from things like conversations or cinematics to gameplay moments that might reveal um, you know, the story itself, but also sort of the danger that might be lurking ahead or what to expect ahead, all of those things are kind of, you know, a player that pays attention to those things might be able to cue into those ideas. What are you doing? Now his guard is up. Only fire. Fire when I tell you to fire. Rage is really the element of Kratos that we're all familiar with from his past. And it's a past that he's trying to hide away from his son, uh, but it still lurks within him. So throughout the game, uh, he'll be trying to manage this rage, but bring it out when needed, uh, when they're in danger or they really need to take down a, a crazy big foe. No! You are not ready! The first enemy that we encounter in the demo is the Draugr. It's a very sort of common creature that you would see in Norse mythology. Uh, for us, we're tapping into that as our sort of base common grunt enemy type. The axe is, is the new powerful weapon that Kratos wields in this Norse realm. You can use it to perform a wide variety of melee attacks as well as use it in range combat. We actually have an aim mode camera that you can use to throw the axe and when you throw the axe out, uh, you're left with your, your fists and you can engage in barehanded combat and the player will be able to play around with both the axe combat and the barehanded combat, and uh, I think a large part of the, the fun aspect of the gameplay will come with managing those two styles. The axe itself also can be recalled uh, at any time on a button press uh, when it's out in the environment, and then uh, you know the utility of the axe kind of extends beyond just combat as well, and so the player will be able to use that to uh, you know, explore, do some loot gathering, and kind of take out things that are within that kind of far range that the, you, know, you wouldn't be able to get to. In our big fight, we feature uh, a troll, uh, and uh, the troll is, is one of the larger characters in our, in our realm. Normally, from you're used to seeing our games a bit further, pulled back camera, and a lot of the characters look a bit smaller, but here, from our more intimate perspective, we can see really what a, what a menace that character is. I think overall we're reimagining how the combat flows in this game and so we want our combat to feel a lot more visceral uh, and up close and intense. Kratos is going to have a wide arsenal of, of really cool attacks. I mean we're only showing a few in this demo. There's a, you know, you, you're able to see him kind of slam the ground and frost enemies in an area around him as well as recall the axe out of the air and slam it down. As you can see, Kratos is, is wrestling the troll to the ground, um, and this is when his rage has just been unleashed. And when his, you know, the player can manifest the rage, 
uh, and, and really do these kind of brutal takedowns. Mailboy! Wait! Do it! Off the ice! No! One of the things we're really striving, uh, striving for is this seamless, intimate experience for the player where we, we never want the player to sort of look away. Uh, and uh, in order to do that, we, you know, in the demo you can see that there's no camera cuts at all. And that allows us just for kind of immersing the player into that experience, um, cinematic, gameplay cinematic, what have you. I'm kind of continuing on the theme of the story unfolding around the player at all times. Uh, we wanted to really spend time kind of with the new camera being so close, um, allowing the environments to be really rich and detailed and, you know, without words, communicating a whole ton about the story of life that existed in these spaces. Do not think of it as an animal. It is simply a target. Clear your mind. Exhale and release. Good. Throughout the adventure, Kratos will be teaching the sun what it sort of means to survive in such a harsh yet sort of, you know, beautiful Norse landscape. Uh, and survival is kind of a key theme that we're exploring. Um, through these sort of gameplay teaching moments, the sun will level up, so to speak, and that's where he's kind of learning these new abilities uh, and his character will progress as well through that. No. Finish what you started. And it, again, it goes, all goes back to reimagining what the DNA, you know, of the series was at the time when the original games had. We, you know, we picked a tone that suited the game at that time, and now we're moving forward. And really, I mean, this is a game about a father and a son um, through a, diff, you know, through a, a very dangerous, hostile Norse uh, landscape. And I think through that journey, they'll experience similar moments to the ones that we witnessed in the demo. And it's really exploring and uh, humanizing uh, Kratos in a way that you haven't seen him before. Now, you are ready. For what? A new beginning. Thanks so much for checking out the God of War demo with us. Uh, we're super excited at Sony Santa Monica to only show, you know, share more details in the, in the coming months. I mean, yeah, this is just the beginning. Uh, the, you know, it's, it's been saying this over and over again, but it's reimagining this and bringing it to, to fans across. And uh, we have so much more to show in the future, so keep your eyes peeled. PS4 for the players.